Costa came in six minutes after, and I am going to pit leg after the red flag. Cambobio, Tony Arbolino, we're already out of the Grand Prix. Kubo Antonelli, Kelly, and Ramirez, they're already out of the race already. So, we're going to have a very, very depleted field. Here's another look at it. God, how lucky was Cadet. Look at that. He was side saddle alongside that Calex machine. He jumped off there. How far did you go? Gusto Fernandez is by guys. We have a couple of motorcycles flying through close to Ayagura. Sam Lowe's, you see there, watch it, here comes Dr. Van de Gorbis by now, but you can see that Dr. Van de Gorbis by now comes in, yeah, the front wheel just gets completely ripped off, that was oh. terrible, that was Simone Corsi there, his envy of Gusta careering into Dr. Van de Gorbis, already destroyed RW Racing GP machine, the fuel tank ignites, big, big fire, what happened there with uh, Sam Lowe's just dropped down to his feet, down to his knees there, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, restart this race through no fault of his own. The riders just caught out by the conditions there, weren't they? Sorry for the likes of Aaron Kinnett, who was leading the Grand Prix from pole position, looking so good. Cam Bobier was in excellent form, looking for his first podium in the World Championship. Here's one man who avoided all the carnage in 14th place, and he will be able to restart in the pit lane in deep discussion with Erta Boss Mike Trimby. Cito Plum's there as well because as it stands right now uh, Cito Pons will restart in this Grand Prix the pole man and the race leader when all the drama started and Akiaya you can understand why he's having a chat you can understand the scene you can sympathize with the teams down there they're, they're probably asking if there's some sort of force majeure here whether they can I mean they're, they're bound by the regulations the regulations dictate if you're not back within five minutes of a red flag you cannot restart but I'm not sure in the Moto2 battle Jorge Navarro, yeah. he was 12th, a big uh, sigh of relief from Navarro, he would have seen in front of him, he did his way to pick his way through and escape. Roberts and the championship leader, Celestino Vietti alongside him on the front row of the grid, and Jorge Navarro, who we just saw on screen, would be fourth. Here's Gabby Rodrigo, he also was able to make sure that he came out of it. So then we've got our race part two grid confirmed, and what about this for a front row in Moto2, will be pole position to Jake Dixon, the the grid has now disappeared off our tiny screens, but we've got confirmation now of the quick restart procedure. It gets underway in five and a half minutes' time, 15.07 local time, as the talks still go on down in pit lane. Pit lane will be open for just 60 seconds ahead of the site. Sam Bobier, who crashed out of a potential career best fourth place in uh, his home Grand Prix in Austin a couple of weeks. Marina Rossi, who's uh, team management with the Elf Mark Venus Racing Team, she's just now informing. Sam Bobier to, to talk to Simon down in the American Racing Gallery. You'll be full of disappointment. Thankfully, he's okay. I'm obviously super bummed because I was uh, right there on Connect, riding good, but that doesn't really matter right now. Um, appreciate it. Yeah, top man Cam Bobier to talk to Simon Crayfar after a, a horrendous crash, a horrendous multiple rider incident which brought out the red flag. Said we are going to get a quick restart. 15.07 local time, the debate tool, Ray Giles, American racing machine, he can't catch a break right now, can he? The Californian. Dixon will be are eligible to make this seven lap restart, which will be coming up very, very shortly. A quick start procedure after the pit lane opens at 15.07 local time. That's just in over at one minute's time. Oh, he will. Joe Roberts and Celestino Vietti alongside him. It feels pretty harsh to say it, given what we've seen already, but what an opportunity, believe it or not, for Vietti in the World Championship, given that he already holds a 16-point lead, 14-point lead, should I say, over Agura, and all of his key rivals are out. Gonzalez, Schrotter, and Ben Schneider on row three, just behind Navarro, Aldegar, and Alcoba, who are on your second row of the grid. Team dead of Gabriel Rodrigo, Alessandro Zaccone, and Kenneth Kubo, Nicola Antonelli, and has 70 points. The men directly behind him in the championship, Agura, Arbolino, Kinect, Chantra and Lowe's, the next five men in the world championship in the second corner when some of the biggest names in the race went down. Of course, we remind you, we are missing in this restart. Aaron Kinect, Cambodia, who started first down. We haven't got Tony Arbolino, the coach winner. No Augusto Fernandez, no Sam Lowe's, no Ayagura. He was running third when the race was red flagged. Somkiat Chantra, who was recovering but after a long lap penalty. We're already out of the Grand Prix. Kubo Antonelli, Kelly and Ramirez.
they're already out of the race already so we're gonna have a very very depleted field here's another look at it god how lucky was cadet look at that he was side saddle alongside that calyx machine he jumped up there how far did well, gusto fernandez's bike go as well a couple of motorcycles flying through close to ayagura Sam Lowe's, you can see there. Watch it. Here comes Dr. Van der Gorbis by now. You can see that Dr. Van der Gorbis by now. Yeah, the front wheel just gets completely ripped off. That was oh. terrible. That was Simone Corsi there. His envy of Gusta careering into Dr. Van der Gorbis already destroyed RW Racing GP machine. The fuel tank ignites. Big, big fire. What happened there with uh, Sam Lowe's just dropped down to his feet, down to his knees there, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, the, the, this restart this Wabarakatuh <laughs>